We're going to turn now to that surprise mission to Syria for Senator John McCain. He secretly crossed the border into the war zone yesterday to meet with rebels trying to overthrow the Assad regime and build support for arming those fighters. ABC's John Carl has the details from Washington. John, this comes as Europe is lining up behind McCain's campaign for, for more military aid to the rebels. That's right, George. The European Union has now lifted its arms embargo on Syria. That is the first step towards getting heavy European weapons to the Syrian rebels. McCain crossed over that border with Turkey in great secrecy. He met directly with the top Syrian rebels to make the point that they deserve all the support the United States can can give. And George, this was with such secrecy uh, that not even his daughter knew that he was going there until she heard about it on Twitter. Yeah, she learned about it from Twitter. But meanwhile, the, the Obama administration is still not ready to approve direct military aid arming the rebels. They aren't. They are certainly considering that. That is one of the top options for escalating support. And George, there's a lot of U.S. aid going to the rebels. It's just not weapons at this point. Meanwhile, we saw the president in Oklahoma on Sunday and now he's heading to New Jersey today with Governor Chris Christie to tour the recovery efforts from Hurricane Sandy. Yeah, this is in many ways the ultimate odd couple, one of the top Republicans in the nation, again with the President of the United States. But, you know, the bottom line is that Christie and Obama have exactly the same story to tell when it comes to New Jersey. The New Jersey shore, decimated by Hurricane Sandy, is back. That's what uh, Christie has been saying. And he gives a lot of the credit to President Obama and to his administration with a, a very robust support from FEMA. Right, he even gave that credit during the campaign. Okay, John, thanks very much.